Hello guys, welcome to Snake Bites. Uh, my name is Alberto. Um, I'm also known as A, A Destroyer, <laughs> A Destroyer Forty Eight, but that's for my other channel. Uh, but this is Snake Bites, and uh, I am gonna be going over some toys. I hope you guys are doing a good day, having a doing a good day. Hope you're having a great day so far. I'm doing this real late at night when y'all are asleep. <laughs> uh, so that's pretty funny. Um, this is um, for toy collectors. Uh, older, older for the adults. Um, toy collectors, you want to take out my toys. And this is also for kids. You want to... You want to uh, just see the older toys. Uh, you really want these toys. They probably have some on Amazon, stuff like that. My toys are not that old. Some of them are not that old. You still can't get them on Amazon, eBay. So I'm going to show off my toy collection. This is Snake Bites 4848, and this is my toy collection. My name's Alberto, so let's jump right into it. All right, I'm just getting into the flow. Um, I'm going to start off with something pretty cool. This is actually a video game, but it's probably considered a toy because it has a gun. This is a Star Wars shooter em up game that you connect to your TV. Um, check it out. This is the gun that goes to it. And shoot that at the TV, and then I have not taken this out in a while, and I have not played with it in a while. And I guess you attach you attach that to your TV. That's the main device that will, that will bring out the video game. These are the wires. I think it goes to. I banged it open and break it. And it's kind of cool, except that I just did this in my PS4. I'm trying to put that in there. And I'm gonna show you the stages you can fight. Oh, I can see if you can still. Oh my gun wants to pop out. There's the gun again. And there's stages. That's where you fight Imperial Troopers right there, Star Wars. Whoa, that's pretty cool stuff, man. I mean, I really wish I could probably have to get close to the screen and kill these. There's another guys that, that ride those bikes, whatever. There's the empires, man. You want to be really shooting at those in the game, huh? Use that gun. It's pretty cool. Let's set this down. I mean, oh my gosh. When I was small, I used to like to fight the walkers. But I had a cheaper game than this. It started like a long time ago. This is way better graphics. There's Imperial Walkers or Speeders. You're going to shoot at the Imperial Walker, I believe. And there's the Snow Beast, and there's Luke Skywalker, Pencil. Pretty cool, man. I bought this a long time ago. So these are going to be hard to find. Everything usually you can find on Amazon and eBay, though. If you really want it. It should not cost that much. I don't, I don't think it's a collector's item yet. Next thing, what are we going to jump into? Now I'm going to get this over with. I'm probably going to have to bring these out again because I have tanks that go with this. These are the drivers that go to a special tank I have. The tank was in here. Near the tank I'm talking about. I don't even know what this trooper called, but I just know it's a driver. It's a, I guess it's a hit, it's a his tank driver. But these these are a little bit taller than the ones I had. This comes with, this is a tank. I'm, I'm sorry, I should have brought it out and I didn't. Um... I don't know if you can see. Sorry, the light's really bright and I can't really see. There's the tank right there that it's supposed to drive it. I have one in black and one in blue. And this is a, I don't know where the stickers are. Let's see what stickers are in here. And no, I don't have stickers in here now. Oh, I already put them in the tank. There, you see all the stickers are all gone. That looks really cool design, huh? I need to use this for something because it could be useful for something. And I think it comes with a stand to stand up. Stand him up. 
And I have another version of them too. I guess this goes for one of my, okay, goes for one of my tanks, right? Now let's compare sizes. I have another one over here. Now this is great artwork, folks. These are not originals. These are the new ones. I don't like that they're taller than the old ones. I want them to be the same size. There's this one. Look at the artwork on that. That's really cool, but I like the artwork. That's what I like to collect about them. And are they the same size? Are they the same size and height? Can you tell? Does this one look a little bigger because it's farther? Let's put this one closer now. Are they the same height? They're about the same height, right? Great artwork on this, though. And uh, I like, I always like this the way it looked like when I was younger. Uh, it looks almost the same. Maybe a little, it's going to be a little bit different. Oh my gosh, Torpedo. I love that artwork of Torpedo. That's a good guy, uh, good guy diver. There's Storm Shadow, my favorite ninja. There's Snake Eyes, everybody knows him. There's Destro, looks really cool. Um, let me see who else. Cobra Commander. Cobra Air Trooper, I think that's new. I actually have two of the Air Troopers, but the old ones, I think. And that's it for, it is, says right here, the enemy code name, Cobra His, His Driver. And then, like, if I were to buy an extra one, I would cut this out, and it look cool, but collect GIJoeClub.com. They would have like some little sticker things that you could order in and, and get another G.I. Joe or something. I don't think they have them anymore. I thought that was it, but I don't think it's not. This is made by Hasbro. Oh, Hasbro's still making stuff. Well, that's cool. They're just making them a little taller. I don't know. I wish they were shorter like the other ones so I can add to my collection. My collections are a little bit shorter than that. They're a little bit shorter. All right, but, oh my, I, I'm sorry. I keep saying that word, I, but I really like this. It looks really cool. Awesome. He does come with a little pistol. And there's a stand in the back where you, it's the same as this one. Let me bring it out again. Sorry I'm taking too long with this, but it'll be all in my mind. There's a little stand right here. You stand them up. It has, because they have little holes on the bottom, you can stand up. He has a stand. He has another stand up in the back of this one. So they have a stand for both of them. I'm surprised. I'm surprised about it. I would think they didn't put the stand for the other one or the other. Let's go on to the next toy. We did GI Joe. So now, oh my gosh, this was Evil Lynn and my the box is a little bit. Turn up. I'm probably going to have to buy another one. I'll probably open this one and get another one. I think I may have another one, but I'm not sure. This is Evil Lynn from He-Man. She's a, she's a sor sorceress. It says Evil Warrior Goddess. I don't think she's a god. I don't know why they're calling her that. Maybe it's just a name. And it says Play Atrium Modern, modern uh, Posing. Um, she comes with... No... Don't tell me somebody opened this and robbed the freaking weapons. I didn't do this. She's supposed to come with a wand or something and somebody opened and took it out or what? No, they don't look like it opened it that much. They stole the back. Yo, I've been robbed. I bought this and I didn't realize somebody opened this and stole the her weapons. Yeah, you see, she comes with a club. I better call the police. She comes with a club. And she's supposed to be able to just to twist twist into powerful battle positions. I'm always gonna say this. They fool me when they say twist. I think they could I thought you could just go like this and hit. But no, I think it just say you could just turn it and, and and hit with a hit with her weapons. That is really cool artwork. They have trap jaw, I don't know all their names, but it's trap jaw, merman, evil land. That might be Cyclops with the eye, and then there's Stink or, or whatever. You may not want to buy that toy because I think it actually stinks. It's a turn off. They should just have them like that. 
I don't know if I'd buy him, if I'd buy him for a collection, but he looks kind of, I don't know. Uh, there's the thing I'm missing. I hope I bought another one. That's her, her magical staff, whatever. There's He-Man. I want Faker He-Man. That looks really cool. When that comes out, I'm buying that. There's Skeletor. There's Fisto. That's He-Man's friend. That's Evil Land. That's the one we're talking about now. Merman. He's a bad guy in the sea. I really want him. I need to try and get him off eBay or Amazon. But more likely eBay. He's really cool. The price is going up. 50 bucks probably. I need to buy him soon. I don't know what this is. Paper, plastic. Oh, it's recyclable. It's made by Mattel. I'm really happy they're, they're, they're selling my He-Man series. I don't know if kids nowadays are buying these. But this used to be in the 80s a long time ago, and they were selling them, and we, we really liked our, uh, you know, guys with my age, uh, we really go back with these toys and really like them. I don't know if you guys are, are older gentlemen and collectors are collecting this. I mean, but it'd be a good idea to collect them. Really cool. Let's see what else we have. Check this out. This is a little thingamajigger. I opened this up already. It's like a cool jet. Does this look not awesome? I'm not playing with toys. It has wheels. The wheels do move. Let me see if I have anything with a flat surface. Uh, let's see this. There are some, I have a Hot Wheels, um, I'll show this later. I have a Hot Wheels uh, platform, and it actually has something where a helicopter can land, it can land up there, it can pretend it goes down like this. Uh, it's a Hot Wheels track thing, and it also has a place for a helicopter, I'm telling you. You can also use it on that. It says something right here, it says Tilted Turbo. Like this. I'm not playing with toys, you're never going to catch me. <laughs> I really like this. It looks really cool. It's like a su some super sonic jet. I like it a lot. And I do not know if any of you guys would buy something like this. Uh, you probably get it at a grocery store and just buy it there. They run for like four bucks. They're kind of expensive. They're probably more now, five bucks. Pr prices are outrageous. All right, folks? Let's put this away and see what else we have. Isn't this adorable? That box, you just buy it at a dollar store or something. I believe bought it. It's a little vampire. It's a little, a little Frankenstein. There's a pumpkin up here. The little bat. Oh, cute, adorable. A little witch. Pumpkins. I already showed you that side. It's, it's the same in all sides. Polka dot on top. Bottom the price tag. <laughs> this is super adorable. You can put money in here. You can put little thingamajigs. I have always forgot I could put like G.I. Joe Transformer like freaking weapons in here. If you have any toys that have weapons in there. And I don't even know if kids really play with toys anymore. Everything's going electronic. They always want to be in their iPads playing games or whatever. Put your little toys in here and stuff like that. And... I don't know. Can you read it? It does say uh, haunted house. How oh, cute! Oh, I didn't see. There's a little ghost right there with eyes. It's adorable. Haunted house pumpkin. I don't know, man. I recommend you get this really cute. I know some of you kids are little boys. Oh, you shouldn't be saying things are cute. But you go hide in your closet and you don't want anybody seeing you. Try to act. You're acting tough, but when you go to the closet, you're like. I'm just joking with you guys. I don't know, man. I always act like a kid, man. Be a kid, have fun. Because when you become a grown up, you have to do work and do a bunch of stuff you don't want to do. So if you're a kid, have fun playing with your toys, man. You toy collectors keep collecting. Have fun, admire them, and all that stuff. Play with them in secret. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm trying not to offend anybody. I'm just, you know, it's just, it's all for fun. I don't care. I don't, 
I mean, I stand up by stuff or whatever. Hmm. Next toy, what did I do? I did a house. Um, I will go, did I do it? No, I haven't done a transformer now. Okay, I'm gonna do a transformer now. This one, I don't plan on opening. I might try to look for a copy. I don't know if I ever have time or the money to do it. This is a hard head, Headmasters. I kind of don't like Headmasters. I wish this was gone. I just have the tank itself, but I'll take it for what it is, I guess. It's better to have something than nothing at all, right? Because they're, they're remaking toys. I don't know if this is a remake. I don't know if it's, it could be the first time they made it. I don't remember seeing this as a kid. Uh, he turns into a tank? What? Here's a transformation, I believe. From one, from a tank to a robot. And I guess you just do it in reverse. He's a headmaster. I'm really not into the headmasters. and I wish they would just take the heads out. It has to do with the head thing. Because I didn't grow up with headmasters. I, yeah, I think the headmasters did come out, but they came out later. And then there's a tag here. If I would open this up, I'd cut that out, I guess. But it's kind of hard to cut out through a box like this. You have to probably open the entire box or in the box. But I don't plan on opening this anytime soon. Look at the artwork. I believe this robot, if I think who I think he is, that's the one that turns into a city. That's freaking awesome, man. And then there's the alligator transformer came later. There's a gorilla. I don't I don't remember a gorilla during my time. They may have made him new. I'm not sure. I'm looking for the bat. There's a I have I have the bat. There's the double uh Yeah, there's a bat right here, but it's not the one. It is a bigger bat, but I have the smaller cassette bat to go to Soundwave. This one, it, the, the, I'm very intrigued with this. It's a two-headed dragon. It looks like a good guy fighting with the Decepticons. If I remember correctly, the two-headed dragon belonged with the Decepticons, the bad guys. So I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's new or what. I don't recognize some of these robots. Some I'm thinking some of them are think who they are, but I think they're new. I did see that one. These are these looks like all new stuff. I do have the helicopter with two propellers. That looks freaking cool. I, I will show it if I ever find it. And a lot of these look like headmasters. They're headmasters fighting head headmaster Autobots. Good guys fighting the headmaster Decepticons. This artwork is outstanding. The only thing is I don't. I'm not familiar with a lot of these Transformers. They're not the originals. They're like the ones they made afterwards, probably. There's like a big ship. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is like a big tarantula. Uh, I don't know. It's like a scorpion a Decepticon. I wanted it for some time, but I don't know if I'll ever get it. It's a. This is a... Uh, yeah, I was saying like a scorpion is flying in space. It's like a big base, whatever. I, I wanted it at a time, but I don't know if I ever want it anymore. There's some more. There's some more jets fighting up there. I mean, I really like this. They look really cool. I really do. I don't know if it's a better shot of it. You can always just pause it on your thing on your video if you really want to see this. Uh, collectors might want to see it. Uh, kids from today, I don't know if they're too much into this. What else do we have? Uh, these are little dice uh, left center right this is a past play the game of left center right I would not use these this for the game at whatever crappy game it is excuse my language uh, it does have it has like little chips like a poker whatever but I would make this like for a board game and I should open and play it I've been trying to make board games with little with little thingamajiggers, I have He-Man little guy, um, figures that I can make a, I can make my own board game, cut up a board and uh, make a game out of it, and put little He-Man figures or little transfer figures and to make a game and use this. Um, I, I really need to start using these, but I don't know. I'm getting busy with my channel. I have two channels right now, so this is my second channel, Snake Bites. All right, let's see what else we have here. This is pretty cool, man. It's a freaking submarine. That's the diver. This is the submarine, and I don't know if you could see it. 
better look at it. I'm not sure. It's like a praying, a praying, praying mantis. It's not praying mantis. What is the name of that fish? Stingray. What is it called? It is called a stingray, but it's called a stinger raider with electric eel. That's the electric eel, I believe. That's the that's the diver is dangerous. These are the bad guys. This is from GI Joe. This is Cobra. I put these in pools and I put it. There's like a little ditch when it rains a lot in front of my house near the street, and I will put this in there. It looks really cool when it goes down, and I will videotape it one of these days. I just got to wait for it. Probably got to wait first uh, when the hurricane season comes, a lot of rain comes, and it fills up my ditch. And um, I will put this in there. And do you see, like, these propellers in the back? It'll go down, and then it has, like, little propeller spinning things, and it'll spin, spin down, and it looks super cool. It looks like it's really floating, whatever. I just got to put it in a float. I mean, not float. It will sink down, and it's a, it's a submarine. And you put you put this diver in there. It has missiles and stuff, and it is so cool when it, when I put it in the ditch. Hmm. I don't know. It says like there's a special offer up here. It says special offer, storm shadow unmasked, and ten battle points for this exclusive figure. Um, I didn't. I don't like. I don't like the way they. If they made Storm Shadow with this, these class of uh, this series of, of GI Joe, I don't want it. I don't like it at this time. Or maybe they were selling. I'm not sure, but I do have some that I bought that were that I, that I like to look legit. They're probably they're copies from the old ones, but they look like the same thing. It looked from Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow is a white ninja. He's super cool. He comes out in the movie. If you saw the movie that came out like seven years ago, hmm. I like how they put the the scuba diver. He's holding up. He's holding up the like the the door, the the glass door up there. That looks really cool. I mean, and this is Cobra. I mean, this is cool. This is what they're gonna use to fight GI Joe and the GI Joe. Um, uh, boats and all that stuff. So this is the excuse me, Stinger Ra Raider with electric eel, Valor versus Venom. The Valor versus Venom had some pretty cool toys. They had like six pack, six pack of GI Joes that come to a pack, and I have some. I think I, I don't know if I have any that I saved. And uh, well, there was there was one that had ninjas. It was like six ninjas and all that. I have the ninjas and they're pretty cool and stuff like that. We're gonna move on to the next toy. And I'm running out of space to put this stuff. Excuse the noise, I'm gonna take another chair off. Let's see what else we have. Sorry, I have to reach. I'm gonna have to reach for these. This is Bubba Fett, Star Wars Bubba Fett. It's a Star Wars um car I wish they had made a better design I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie I want to say to you guys oh it's really cool I do like Bubba Fett but I don't like the design of this car I think they could have got a better one y'all could tell me it given your in the comments if you like this car it's hot it's from Hot Wheels it's a Bubba Fett car can you see I know it's hard because of the light maybe right there that's a better picture what you're seeing is I'm seeing I love Bubba Fett. He's so cool. Except I'm not. I wish they would put, made a better car for him. But I went and bought it anyways for collectors. They have a Darth Vader car. <laughs> they have a Luke Skywalker car. A Stormtrooper car. Darth Maul car. And a chopper. What is a chopper? That don't even look like a freaking. That doesn't even represent another. Another Star Wars character. So I don't know what's up with the chopper. I need to re research on that. Because they can't just do that. They can't just name all these cars. To be part of. To be part of. Um, like characters. And then the last one is just the chopper. What's the chopper? That's not representing somebody. It is made by Hot Wheels. So it's cool. I don't know if you like this. Keep it now. Maybe they'll sell it again. 
I bought this a while back. All these toys I bought five years back. And this is the Bubba Fit uh, vehicle. Does it have an, a specific name for it? No, it just says Bubba Fit. I don't think it said Bubba Fit Racing Car or something like that. And it shows his missile in the back right here in the picture. Pretty cool. This mask is awesome. How can you not like Bubba Fit? I want to. I want you. I want you guys to let me know if you like Bubba Fit or not. Pretty cool. Let's see what else we have here. Mm. Should I say? Should I show you the big guns or should I show you the big guns? I've already talked about them. And this is Storm Shadow. G.I. Joe. A big G.I. Joe uh, action figure. Let's see how, how tall do they say if they say how much how tall they are. Well I didn't I don't think it says I think it has to say somewhere, but it's a Cobra Ninja. And it's codenamed Storm Shadow. How dare they they should put Storm Shadow on top. How disrespectful. It says firing crossbow. So maybe it does really fire. I don't know. I've never took one out. He looks super cool. He has a camouflage pants. Uh, he has a cobra L L symbol right here and one right here. He has two swords and he has a small knife. I mean, this guy comes packed. He comes loaded. What? Check this out. I didn't even notice this. I don't know why. I can't see or something. He comes with that. I don't know if that's some kind of tattoo for... I don't know what it represents. There you see him with the swords. He can put the swords in the backpack and up here if you didn't want to use them. Probably put the knife here or his crossbow. Probably put the crossbow on his back. The ones are selling down here. What? Oh my gosh. It's an LT um, Navy SEAL. Whoa. That Snake Eyes right there. Snake Eyes Ninja Commando. And there's Flint. Uh, Flint's pretty cool. Flint is a warrant, a warrant officer. The side just says the same thing. It says Cobra Ninja code name Storm Shadow on the side. So do you like this? Do you think it's cool? Do you like ninjas? Have ninjas gone out of style? Let me know. Let me know if you approve. I like to know. I would like to know what your kids are into nowadays. Is it true that they just say that you kids are just into uh, electronics and video games and uh, notepads or whatever you have it? Or do you all dabble with toys? Let me know. I want to know. I like to learn. I like to learn. I'm not just here for for views and subscribers and all that. Oh, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but... I want to know what you guys are into. I've always wondered what are, are is it true what they say that kids don't even play with toys and they just they just want to be on video games and notepads. Let me know. I want to know. Um Check this out. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. This is Panthor. This is from He-Man. And Skeletor writes on Panthor. That's uh, He-Man's uh, worst enemy. Skeletor. And it says, an, an awesome feature fighter. Removable armor. Comes Skeletor into battle. Now, oh my gosh, I have the price. I'm sorry if I get clearance. I'm guilty. 17 bucks. But I wanted him. I needed him. I love the bad guys. Does that Skeletor look scary? Doesn't he look super cool? It comes with armor. Now, I used to own, or own this a long time ago, but the thing was, it was different. The legs would, were stiff. You could not move the legs anymore. You just stand like that. And that's it. These legs can move. Yeah, you see a hinge right there. You can see like, that's where you can move. So this is way better than the one I had when I was younger, and I wish I would have I wish I would have kept my other one. I have to add a cell and everything. And it's gonna, this has like some kind of rug surface on the legs and all that. So it's kind of weird. Like it's it's actually like would be like fur. Like he actually has it here. Now I have Battle Cat, the good guy for He-Man. 
and he does not have fur at all. So you got to think about that. Why didn't they put that fur on on a battle cat? They would have. He would have looked really cool. It would have been something new. Because I knew he wasn't going to come with fur. Because I don't think he came with fur in the first one. In the first toy. Now. This artwork looks su superb. It looks magnificent. It looks awesome. Now let's look at the back. Is it. The back has a, another art. Art right here. And it's different. You see he's pointing his sword. It's different. And then you can see the castle too. Over here. It's not the same. He has a sword back. So amazing artwork and kudos to He-Man, man. I mean, the makers, they made it, they, the ones that make this toy, they really make the artwork cool. I mean, it even, it even sparkles with the light that I have for, for the video. It says, fiercely obedient to Skeletor, Panther comes as in furious master into combat. So they're going to fight. Look, there's Battle Cat. That's what I'm talking about. This toy, I have it as well, and I'll show it next time. It does not have fur. And I guess I can compare it next time. Uh, it's just like solid plastic. But this this comes with fur, man. I'm telling you. That is fur. It's like it's like carpet. It's really cool. They should have made Battle Cat the same way. Next time I'll show Battle Cat. There's the armor that they put on there. And they're, they're going to show... Ooh, there's Battle Armor He-Man. That's what I used to have when I was younger. She-Ra. I didn't have She-Ra. I'm going to buy her. I'm sorry. People don't make fun of me because it's a girl. Roboto. You need to have She-Ra in your, in your... I don't know if your parents will let you, whatever. But I'm going to get her. Because the She-Ra cartoon and He-Man, they, they join forces and they help each other. So they're actually part of the same collection in a way. Roboto... This robot crash landed, and I forgot the story, but I seen it. it's pretty cool with He-Man. He-Man helps him out. Uh, Battle Armor Skeletor, pretty cool. Merman, I want him. Zodiac, I want him when he comes out. They do have another Zodiac, but he's from another series. I don't want that one. I want. I mean, he looks pretty good too. Maybe I would buy him, but I want the one from this series. There's Battle Cat and Panthor. See, that's the. T I don't know if it's the toy version or not. Pretty cool, folks. Um, let me put this over here. Now that's gonna end. That's gonna end for the show. Um, this channel's starting off really. I'm not gonna say slow. I'm gonna be honest. There, it's barely starting. I'm hoping it's gonna grow. My other channel grow. This one's gonna grow too. And I'm trying to put. This is my. This is my third video, so far for snake bites. And I'm gonna reword it and put toys and see what happens because I have snake bites and people are like, what snake bites, you know? I'm hoping it's gonna grow. I hope the word is gonna get out about my channel. And um, um, don't be afraid to subscribe. I was I, I didn't like to ask for subscribe subscriptions from my other channel, but I'm gonna ask for them now. I'm not gonna give like and subscribe. No, I'm gonna please subscribe. <laughs> so we I can continue doing this. And uh, hopefully we get more more viewers, more more kids, more adults for uh, toy collecting. All of you are welcome to join anybody, mothers. I don't care as long as you're interested to come watch it. If you're interested in seeing my toy collection. And these are my style of toys. This is how I, this is how I am. This is the way I roll. So um, I'll, be, I'll be looking forward to seeing you on my next uh, video. Um, I want to say... Um, I'm going to leave you with this. The world is, the world is, will never be a, a perfect place, but y'all can make it better. Till next time, my name, this is, this is Snake Bites, and my name is Alberto, and I'm signing off, and I'll see you in the next video. I hope you, I hope you enjoyed this one. Bye, take care.